Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Devotees of Jesus. This is your host, Julian Phillips, and let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Jesus, we want to walk this life in amazing ways. Dare we say we want to become a G Gods, with you as capital G God. Give us the grace to make this happen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 5, verses 17 to 30. Jesus replied, My father goes on working, and so do I. And the Jews tried all the harder to kill him. For Jesus not only broke the Sabbath observance, but also made himself equal with God, calling him his own father. Jesus said to them, Truly, I assure you, the Son cannot do anything by himself, but only what he sees the Father do. And whatever he does, the Son also does. The Father loves the Son and shows him everything he does, and he will show him even greater things than these, so that you will be amazed. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills. In the same way the Father judges no one, for he has entrusted all judgment to the Son, and he wants, to, he wants all to honor the Son as they honor the Father. Whoever ignores the Son ignores as well the Father who sent him. Truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life, and there is no judgment for him because he has passed from death to life. Truly, the hour is coming and it has indeed come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and on hearing it will live. For the Father has life in himself, and he has given to the Son also to have life in himself. And he has empowered him as well to carry out judgment, for he is the Son of Man. Do not be surprised at this. The hour is coming when all those lying in tombs will hear my voice and come out. Those who have done good shall rise to live, and those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. I can do nothing of myself, and I need to hear another one to judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the same way the Father judges no one, for he has entrusted all judgment to the Son, and he wants all to honor the Son as they honor the Father. And he wants all to honor the Son as they honor the Father. How do we honor the Father? We honor him as God. So how are we to honor the Son, Jesus Christ? We are to honor him as God. Jesus is God. Whole religions have been formed and still maintain that Jesus is not God. We here at this channel say firmly that Jesus is God. Now, th this is always what comes up and this has always, you know, been the case up and down the centuries. How can the Father be God and the Son be God? You know, and this is where we have the creed that Jesus is begotten, not made. Now, what, 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 so I, I've gotten this all the time. People say, but it just doesn't make sense. If one is the father and the other is the son, then the father must be more senior to the son and the father is the, must be God. And Jesus is just the son of God. Because, you know, we see in scripture that Jesus is called by some the son of God and so let me put it this way. What is happening here is that people are making this mistake. They are saying that if a thing does not make sense, it therefore must not be true. I will freely admit it does not make sense that the Father is God and the Son is God. I will say that. But I must not go so as, as far as to say that just because it doesn't make sense, it's not true. So we have some examples of this in nature. We humans have created a branch of study called aerodynamics. I never studied aerodynamics, but as far as I'm aware, it pertains to the creation 
of craft that are capable of flight. It is no secret that birds were the inspiration for our first flying crafts. And if you will, we copied the birds in that we created a series of delta and triangle shaped fixed wing craft. So if you've ever seen a bird high up in the air, you can imagine, you know, a triangle being formed from the beak to the left side of the wing and then from the beak to the right side of the wing. So you take the beak to the wingspan, that's a triangle. And if you watch the tail feathers in its own way, that's kind of a triangle. So virtually all our fixed wing craft, you know, conform to this delta or triangle shape. But then we have creatures like the bumblebee. According to our understanding of aerodynamics, the bumblebee is not supposed to be able to fly. But yet it does. It doesn't make sense. We would not design a craft in the shape of a bumblebee, but nobody could deny the bumblebee flies. It doesn't make sense. I'll give you a next one. The overwhelming majority of plants get nutrition through their leaves. So in a process we've all studied in school called photosynthesis, sunlight reacts with the chlorophyll in the leaves, creating this process whereby the sunlight triggers the creation of simple sugars such that the plant gets its nourishment. Okay, But then we have odd plants like the Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap doesn't, as far as I'm going to get, the bulk of its sustenance from the sun. It is depending on unsuspect unsuspecting insects to land in its mouth and to close itself and then dissolve it and then absorb the nutrition from the fly or whatever the creature is. Or then take this one. I learned this one the other day. There are only three creatures, if you will, on the planet whose female members go through menopause. Obviously one, humans. And then killer whales and the bottlenose dolphin. But I thought we were most closely related to chimpanzees, orangutans, and gorillas, and so on. So why is it none of the ape family go through menopause? Females in the human species go through menopause and then killer whales and bottlenose dolphins? You know, it doesn't make too much sense, but it is the truth. So what I am saying is that we have within nature examples like the bumblebee being able to fly, how the Venus flytrap gets its nutrition, and the fact that humans and bottlenose dolphins and killer whales are the ones experiencing menopause. It makes me scratch my head too, but just because I can't figure it out, I'll say this again, just because I can't figure it out doesn't mean it's not true. And what he, the father, wants all to do is to honor the son as they honor the father. We honor the father as God and we are being asked to honor the son as God. Jesus is God and pun intended, thank God for that. Because through his life, death, and res resurrection, we have won already. Hear that line, we have won already. God became flesh, pitched his tent, and dwelt among us, was killed at the hands of men, and by his own power rose from the dead, thereby guaranteeing us already victory. We have victory already. All of this is to say, Talk to Jesus. You owe it to yourself to talk to Jesus. When you're talking to him, you're talking to God. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us.